Hello and welcome to Adorn by Jennifer. Thank you for joining me for Tuesday Tips. This week's Tuesday Tip is for someone for all ages. It can be done by anyone of any skill level and it includes very affordable tools that most of them you can purchase at the Dollar Tree. But before I share that information with you, I have noticed a lot of comments on my YouTube channel specifically that has been asking me questions about my Christmas ornaments and the tree behind me. And one thing I would love to share with you is I personally make them and I sell them on my Etsy shop. You can message me at adorn to you if you have any questions or you can check out my Etsy shop, Adorn by Jennifer, no spaces, all smushed together, Adorn by Jennifer and I would love to be able to get those to you. I just recently restocked and I wanted to just show you on my tree, I have the very big jumbo size, but I brought the other sizes just to show you different scale. And I realized I'm wearing the color of these ornaments so they kind of disappear. But these are the petite size. You can see that, here's a grande. So here's petite, if you see it on a tree, I believe this is a seven foot tree. So you can see the scale of a petite. Here's the grande. So my tree is a combination of grande and actually jumbo. This is the jumbo, it's quite large. You can see proportion to me, uh, but it looks really beautiful on my tree and you can really see it across the room. This looks really great in lobbies, foyers, on stage at Christmas, at churches, um, anywhere like in a public setting, anything seven foot and above, I would recommend doing the jumbo sizes. The jumbo sizes I sell individually because they're so large. You can pick your words and there's a whole variety of them. The good thing about Jesus is there's lots of names for him, but I also have it available in two different colors currently. I have it in gold and I have it in like a fire engine red. So you can pick out any of these in those two colors. I do make custom uh, colors, but there is a, a separate fee to be able to cover all of the expenses of me buying all the different materials. So just message me if you're interested in any of that stuff, but it is recently restocked. You can check me out on Etsy, Adorned by Jennifer. I have all kinds of other things as well. Um, I make a lot of stuff from hand by scratch, and I also am possibly going to be doing a live sale of this type. Uh, these are vintage beads of my earrings, my beads, uh, my bracelet, my necklace, this bead, and this gorgeous pearl ring, which is, all of this is surprisingly affordable, but they're vintage beads. It's another vendor that I am selling. And um, if you're interested, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll probably do the live on Facebook, I believe, um, just because I can manage that a little bit easier with the tools that I need. But check out my accounts, Adorned by Jennifer, no spaces on anything. So Adorned by Jennifer, Facebook, Adorned by Jennifer, Instagram, Adorned by Jennifer for uh, Etsy, and Adorned by Jennifer for YouTube. So thanks for tuning in now to the Tuesday tip. I will say Dollar Tree, you can get this face, it's a little dirty because I just did this on a live on um, those accounts, uh, but they, I would recommend either this one or this one. They're currently at the Dollar Tree. This is brand new this week. It's cute, it comes on the little metal base, but either of these would work. They're $1.25 each. I recommend getting two to three bags of these Darling Peppermint Sticks. The reason why I say two to three, a lot of times they break in the process of pulling them out or they might already be broken in the package. So two to three. The large container requires 21 to 22 can candy sticks for our project and the smaller one requires 19 candy sticks. So just so you know, quantity wise, and then a piece of ribbon. So uh, I had a translucent piece of ribbon earlier, but you'll want uh, something that is solid so you can't see through it. And you need a rubber band. So that's our basic supplies. So $1.25 and let's say two packs of the peppermint sticks, $1.25 each, so we're at $3.75. You grab a rubber band, you just stick it over the vase. Nothing fancy. I recommend doing it either three quarters up or halfway down. You can see I didn't really pay attention to that too much and it doesn't really matter. Then you pull it and you just slide your peppermint stick down. It's very easy. I would recommend though, just giving a little dot of hot glue so that it sticks a little bit better because I did this last year and uh, the peppermint sticks kind of slid out of the rubber band base. So, whoop, as I throw peppermint sticks around. So I'm holding that and I did it on my live for Facebook and Instagram without gluing it. This is actually my first time to technically glue it, 
but I do think that it's gonna make it a little bit more resid resistant to falling over, but holding it kind of in place is probably gonna be helpful too. So you're basically gonna work your way around and just add a little dot of glue. I do above and below the line and then just slide it in. Now I said earlier that any age could do it, but now that we're using hot glue, probably needs to be monitored uh, if you have a young one doing it, but they, they could actually put the peppermint sticks on if you don't do the hot glue. But if you do do hot glue, you wanna be careful with, a, with a, anyone that could get injured with that type of a thing. So we're just going to slide these around. You can see there's really no rhyme or reason, but we're just getting a nice little, they might pop off of the glue and that's okay. You can kind of go back. Um, what I liked about not gluing them on, and if you're doing it for your own house, you really don't need to glue it on if you're not gonna be moving your arrangement around. But what I liked about not gluing them on is I could reuse my glass face for something else later in the year and I could actually reuse my peppermint sticks too. Ooh, look, trying a, a new technique and just putting it on the back of my candy stick. Maybe that will make it stay. But these are actually, some of them are my peppermint sticks from last year because I just put them in a bag and save them. I don't think they taste very good, so I wasn't going for quality of uh, saving them. I was just going for reusability, and of course, I just got a little piece of glue stick or glue on there. You can just remove that. Nobody's even going to notice, but you just keep going. I do think it goes maybe a little bit faster if you put the glue directly on the peppermint stick. I can tell which ones were from last year because they're a different color tone. <laughs> And you'd think they'd get more antique looking after sitting in your drawer for a year, but actually the darker colored antique looking ones are the ones from this year. So who knows? But I don't think anybody's gonna be paying attention to that. It's just gonna be festive and fun. So you just work your way around, all the way around. And you could do the same thing for your, this other vase, you'll do the same concept. Now, I also am going to show you in just a moment that I add flowers to it. You don't have to add flowers. You could add a little floral, you could add a candle in it. You could do fake flowers. But I went to my local grocery store and they had a great deal. They had a dozen for $7, although some of them are already dead, um, but I didn't need all of them. And then they have a grocery store special where you can get three bouquets that are smaller for $15. Every grocery store is gonna be slightly different, but you can get the idea of it. And I like to get white and red flowers. Astromeria are flowers that are very inexpensive. Here's Astromeria. These are Astromeria and they last a really long time. This was one of the arrangements that I did earlier today. And I just did a bundle, one bundle of Astromeria. Some of them are dead too. So I did a $5 thing of Astromeria and then I got a dozen roses for $7. And this one only has three roses. So you could literally make several gifts if you pool your resources together. Um, just get a couple of these vases, a couple of the peppermint stick bags so that you can make maybe three or four sets of these. And then combine, take your dozen roses and three bags of astromeria and before you know it you can get several very economical gifts for a very affordable amount and it's gonna look like you spent a lot of money on them because it's gonna look very custom so i'm getting a little rhythm here you can see now i'm gonna show you something this is my bag of broken peppermint sticks and what i will say is i don't think they taste that great but I like to use everything that I buy because I want to be a good steward of my resources. And so I try to make sure that I don't waste. So what I would do with those peppermint sticks is I would ground them up, maybe put them in a bag and smash them up, and then put the rim of my glass in a little bit of shallow water and then put the rim of my glass in the crushed peppermint and you'll have a rim around the edge of your peppermint and then you could have eggnog in it and it would be so festive with a fun peppermint ring at the top and you're using your resources. So there you go. Okay, so now can you see we've got this lovely vase and you're just gonna add that ribbon to hide 
the rubber band. So you just tie a pretty little bow, nothing fancy. I mean, you can go fancy if you want, but we're just going for simple with this. And I like to give the end of my bow a little dovetail where you fold it in, the ha uh, in half and you cut it at a diagonal so the end of your ribbon looks finished. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Kind of hard to do and talk and show all at the same time. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfection, but you get the idea. Is that not darling? So cute. So that's your base. So you start with this. Then you add some water to it. And those grocery store flowers, like I talked about earlier, I'm trying a new thing. So some of my flowers were dead. So I just got water from the kitchen sink and I added a half can of Sprite and I got the floral packet that came with it. And I did about three, half of it, three quarters of it for two arrangements and stirred it up. So the Sprite and the floral packet are supposed to give your, uh, your flowers a little sugar so that they perk up a little bit. So I am going to grab a hydrangea. That was one of my uh, packets that I got or one of the things that I got and uh, one of my sets of three. And I'm gonna do it, I want it to rest on the flower. So I'm gonna cut it pretty short. One of the rules, um, I got a trash can right here next to me. Uh, one of the rules about floral arranging is that you don't want leaves under the water line because that's where the bacteria build up. So you just cut it. See, it's still a little bit too tall for my liking. It's okay if it even rests on it because it's gonna act as a floral frog to hold the other flowers in. Also, hydrangeas like a lot of water, they wilt really fast. So I cut the stem, I cut it, do you see how I just cut it in half? You see that? And I'm gonna do it again so that there's more places for the water to suck up into the stem. And I've never done this, but I've seen this by other floral people. And so I'm gonna give it a whirl. This is called alum, alum powder. You see alum? And you just dip the end of the stem in alum powder. That's supposed to help. We'll see, we'll give it a, we'll give it a try. Okay, so there's my hydrangea. You could leave it just like this and you could be good to go, but I like to jazz it up a little bit more. So I've got some of the red roses and I'm just cutting them pretty short. And I'm just, get, oh, they kind of disappeared in there. I cut them a little bit too short, I would say. I'm gonna cut them just a smidge. Again, you don't want the leaves. And when you cut the roses, you wanna cut them at an angle, that's better. I might steal one of my taller ones from my other arrangement and throw it in, in here so he doesn't disappear because he kind of went missing. We don't want a missing in action rose in the hydrangea. We want to enjoy the beauty. Oh, this one's pretty short too. But look how cute that is. For just a couple of dollars, you've got this darling hostess gift. And I mean, you can kind of, you could add more roses to it, but I actually had a hydrangea piece uh, fall out. So you could add, add more to the top if you want. And I had a couple of flowers break off. I thrifted this for like 99 cents. And so instead of throwing away the little buds, I put that next to my sink and I have fresh flowers. I also have this little, I'm sure it's some sort of alcoholic container. I'm not really sure, but I thought it was pretty and I thrifted this. And you can do the same thing. Like if you have like a rosebud or even like this hydrangea head, you could put that in there and put a rosebud and then you have a pretty little arrangement next to your sink as well. So those are just some tips of how I like to do it. And then you've got this lovely little hostess gift. So let me know what you think. I love the comments. Be patient with me as I learn how to respond and do all of that. But, um, and follow me on Adorned by Jennifer on Facebook and Instagram for lots more. I post daily on those. And uh, YouTube I do usually about once a week. So thanks for tuning in and have a great week.